I want to take a minute to show you what some of the different types of cast iron cookware are. So everybody's probably familiar with what a skillet is. But that's just an eight inch skillet. They come in a variety of sizes. This one's a 14 inch skillet. If you're feeding a large family or something, 14. It might even be 16 inches, I'm not sure. But it's a big one. This is a wok. It's, it has ashes all over it right now because I also use it to set a Dutch oven on. I'll put a few ashes down in the, or a few coals down in the bottom of that and set my Dutch oven on top of it. You can also hang it upside down over the fire and it'll serve as an umbrella. And when it's raining, it'll keep the rain from putting your fire out. But I made this out of a, an old tractor disc. The tractor discs have a hole right here in the middle where they mount to the implement. And I just welded a piece of flat steel on that and ground it down. And whenever I'm, you can cook on this like a wok. You can cook eggs, bacon, any kind of a, a stir fry that you would want over a campfire. But before I do that, I, I clean it all up obviously and then season it real good. But it, since it's steel, it, it cleans up easy and reseasons nice. Um, so I use it as a just kind of a multi-purpose tool around the camp. <clears throat> a Dutch oven, a lot of people call a variety of things a Dutch oven, but this is actually a Dutch oven. So a Dutch oven has legs on the bottom of it and it has a lip around the lid. So the legs on the bottom are so that you can set it down, set it here on this, you can set it down and it stands up. So you can get coals underneath it and cook from the bottom and the lip on top is so you can stack coals on top of it and they don't fall off so that's an actual dutch oven on the inside of it it's got a, a concave lid you can actually flip this over and set it on a grill or something on the fire and you can cook on this surface here if you season it up real nice you can hang it from a fire uh, from a set of uprights over a fire and actually cook stews and stuff in it its main purpose though is for baking you can bake biscuits and bread um, I've even baked chocolate chip cookies in it before so there's a lot of things you can do with a nice Dutch oven now some things that some people confuse as a Dutch oven is this right here See, there's there's no legs on the bottom of it and there's no lip on the outside to set coals on it actually has a, a convex lid to it but if you look on the inside it has little a bunch of little nipples on the inside of it so this is a roaster you put a, a meat like stew meat or a roast or something in there and as you're cooking it the the steam and the meat juices condense on the on the lid and they'll drip down where each of those nipples are at and it kind of bastes the meat uh, and, and holds all that flavor in but yeah, a lot of people call this a Dutch oven, but it's not. It's actually a roaster. No legs and no lip on top. This, this is a fryer. It's basically a skillet, uh, but it's a very deep skillet. And it has a lid, fits on top of it. So if you were frying chicken or frying potatoes, it's one of my, one of my favorite things to fry in it is potatoes. Um, but there's no legs on the bottom but it's a real deep skillet with a lid on it so that's a roast or a, a, a fryer and this is just another Dutch oven it's just a very large Dutch oven it's a 20 quart Dutch oven um, has the the same con uh, <laughs> has the same concave lid to it um, just like the other small Dutch ovens got the lid around the top and it has the legs on the bottom so you can put the coals underneath it So this by itself is probably 40 to 50 pounds Just empty. So once you get food on that, it's very heavy And this is just a coffee pot. It's not cast iron, but around my camp. It's an essential item It's just an enamel coffee pot, but I would keep one hanging on the fire whenever I'm camping or cooking out over a campfire.
I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the different types of cast iron, mainly the difference between a Dutch oven and a roaster and a fryer, because not everything is a Dutch oven, even though a lot of people confuse different items as Dutch ovens. So, happy cooking.